Coach, just a home opener is, is is that kind of maybe what this team needs right now, just to kind of feel it feels, a comfortable? It feels good to be home, I, I tell you, just to be able to. This is our first time being outside practicing in a while, too. So a really good practice, and, and um, it feels good to be at home, especially we played so many tight games. You feel like playing at home, feeling, playing in some comfort is huge for our guys. It feels like a lot of these games have gone seven, eight innings where you guys are right there, and then something happens late. Is that just a matter of getting over that hump of confidence? I mean, just not letting that rattle you guys? It, it's a couple things. It's um, one, we're not good enough offensively right now to expand games because we've had, I think, at all seven losses in the sixth or seventh inning we're in, it's tied or the one run differential in all of them. Um, and then we play a little tight late. That's what, that's been our, our Achilles heel to this point. Um, I bragged early in the year how good we were defensively, and we're really good defensively through the first six or seven innings. And so we have to be good defensively throughout the whole game. So um, been a little bit of our Achilles heel, but I, um, you know the positive is we're getting great starts, and we're we're in every one of these games. Uh, we just got to be able to flip the switch a little bit. How was uh, how Sowers doing? We're, just, we're still a couple weeks probably, so we're probably a couple weeks out with Logan. So. Um, you know, we just you know just trying to give us some time off right now and then evaluate it from there. But um, that's a that's a big difference in our lineup right now. What, what is that? A wrist? Hand? It's a wrist. wrist it's just a wrist, just a sore wrist. So okay. we're just trying to uh, tend in there. So just trying to get him better. How's Feynman been? Has he kind of been as advertised for you, or is he maybe exceeding expectations early? That's about the same. I mean, maybe the average is a little you know, but it's been going up and down a little bit. There's, there's not enough at bats in there right now. Yeah. But um, you know, the, just the catching side. That's that's why we signed him. And the offense is a bonus when you're getting that back there. But um, just very solid. Kind of along the, oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, as I say, kind of along those same lines with, with Butler adding him, and obviously, have you, have you given? Is he giving you what you thought you'd get out of him early on? He's a little short on the offensive side. I mean, he's a, he's a pretty good offensive player. It was really the amazing thing. Him and Cangelosi were on fire when we broke spring training. You know, and both of them just had a slow start. So, um, but he's really good defensively. I don't know. I mean, he's wearing the yellow shirt today here at practice just because of the diving plays that he's making. Just he's got the experiences. Division one level already, but then to go out to a really good JUCO program, does that make a difference in the player? We've seen kind of both sides of that. I think so. I think that um, you know the two guys that were kind of you know I feel like are coming on strong are him and Krupa, our mm -hmm. two JUCO kids who played a you know you play junior college ball, you play a lot of games too. So just a lot of experience there. Um, getting those guys going here will, will be a big boost to our offense. He was saying that you guys you, he was ready to come here before even last season started for him. Which one? Uh, not true, but uh, Butler. Butler. It, how early was he on your radar? I've known Tony since he was probably a sophomore in high school. Okay. So coming out of high school when he went to Virginia, I was recruiting him. And then um, then when he left, we kind of went on our radar and, and um, just got good recommendations from everybody on him. So um, I've known him a long time. Going back to Feynman, uh, the offense seems to be there, but every time Bell steps on the mound and Webb gets a start, what's the difference between Webb and Bell, or Webb and uh, Feynman when they're catching Bell? You know, from a um, from a catching side, they're both pretty strong. So there's a, you know, that side. So we're just catching one every other day. Feynman's a little more advanced offensively. So you'll see, usually when Bell comes out, we'll, we can make a switch in there with an extra hitter and try to get an extra at bat or something. But um, Michi's doing a great job catching Evan Bell right now. So that's a, that's a big positive. And I know Evan's, you know, real confident to throw to him. Also, uh, the versatility of Luke Miller being able to play you know, third base, first base, outfield, designated hitter, what does that add to your lineup? It's been huge right now with all the little nicks and uh, things that we've had, So, uh, and his offense. I mean, he's just a very well-rounded player, uh, very good base runner, very good hitter. Um, he pitches, too, probably too young in his career to pitch him, but I think before his career's over, you'll see him on the mound, too. So it's a, it's a really talented ball player. Kyle mentioned something about the, the turf and how that's kind of a possibly a factor. Is there any truth to that at all? <laughs> not, not to me, really. I mean, we've played on some beautiful yards already and some nice fields. But when you play on turf all the time, it does. I think we'll just play more comfortable at home. The turf is a little easier to play on, but it's it's just home. I think that's the biggest part is you're just at home and you're comfortable. And uh, I think you'll see us play a little better defensively just because of that. You guys got maybe a little bit of momentum last week. I thought we were going to get a little more. Um, I think we had two games that were maybe in hand a little bit, especially that second one against Seton Hall. I thought we dominated them for six innings and six and a half innings, and they did a good job of coming back and putting pressure on. And and uh, I, I, like I said, I think we could have done a little more. I think we're going stretches at a time playing great baseball. We just need that one inning to sharpen up, and I think we can close the game out. Um, you know, got a, got a couple things to sort out in the bullpen matchup wise. Just some guys get some confidence back. It was good to see Thomas Belcher come in. But for the most part, I think we're 
We're really competitive for almost seven nines, eight nines of the game, and we just got to close out that one inning. Mm -hmm. Chris, do you feel like you got some momentum going yourself just last weekend? Uh, I don't know. I, I felt uh, pretty similar to how I felt the last two outings. Obviously, you know, the stat line looked a little better than the week before, but I felt like I was competitive at Fullerton, and, and this week I was just rewarded a little bit with, you know, maybe a favorable umpire and, and just some, you know, some good pitch sequences I was throwing. Again, run support. I mean, my grandma could throw with a 14-run lead, um, so that certainly makes it easy. But uh, yeah, I feel I feel good going into this week. I had a good pen today, so you know, just looking to keep keep it going as I, as I've been doing. With everything that's going on, do you think that being back at home, back in a comfortable facility, how much can that just help turn turn what's happening around? I think that helps a lot. I think you know you got you got guys that have been taking balls on turf field for you know six eight months in a row here, and I, I don't want to make that an, an excuse, but I just I think the comfort level, like you said, is huge, especially in baseball. Just you know you're at your own locker, you know you're eating your own food, you're sleeping in your own bed, you're playing on your own field. I think it's just a, a huge combination of things that that really helps and. And again, you've seen, you know, for the hitters too, they've seen so many pitches from that batter's eye, from that background. And, and I think there's just a lot of factors that play in playing at home. And maybe we can get like the basketball uh, organizations and start start winning some games at home, certainly. Things are coming out, starting Friday night here. What does that mean to you? I don't know. I've watched a lot of good Friday night starters come on this field. Um, you know, I talk to Joey all the time. I, I try to have a little Joey in me at, at all times because uh, he was so good at it and just coming out. And like I said, media day, you're, you're just facing the other team's best guy, which is probably the biggest responsibility is to go up and match up with, a, with another team's ace and, and to just give your, give your team a chance. I think um, you know, it doesn't change how I'm going to pitch, whether it was Friday or Sunday or Tuesday, but uh, you know, just trying to match up with their guy and, and give us a chance to win. You were the team's leading hitter over the weekend, and uh, you know, eight hits and only three games. You really, what was your approach at the plate this weekend? I mean, the approach is to stay up. The coaches have worked so much with me all, all year long, basically, since I got here. Not being able to pop up, not pulling off the ball, just staying on low changeups. You know, it was good to face a slow lefty, just kind of stay on the ball. I mean, I think our whole team did a great job. I mean, we made some key adjustments last weekend. Uh, with you working with uh, Bell, what seems to be the difference between, you know, usually Webb gets a start whenever Bell gets on the mound. Uh, what kind of development can you uh, add whenever, you know, working with him or, you know, so you can get the start whenever he's on the mound? You know, I mean, Michi does a, a great job behind the plate. He catches everything right. He blocks everything. He's out there at the plate. He's hidden well. You know, I mean, the only thing I can do is just watch Michi, how he catches them, and learn from him. Just how's, how's it feel to just cut the home opener? I mean, it felt great. I, I was so excited to just get out there and just, oh, this one. Sorry. I can't wait. I mean, it's going to be cool seeing all these fans out here and just, you know, playing in front of all you people that love you. This program's had some pretty good catchers coming through over the last couple of years. Is there any sense of pride with being that next one? No pressure. Really. I mean, absolutely. You watch videos on Schwarber, Hartong, even Michi. You just watch them and you're just like, I need to be like them. I need to keep the legacy going. I mean, they worked so hard all the years here to be where they are and look how successful they are and look how successful the program is. Uh, are you, um, who are you leaning on to kind of get to this point behind the plate? Obviously, having those guys in, this, in the pipeline the last couple of years is kind of given like, there's been some rapport between the pitchers and the catchers. Where, who are you leaning on to kind of get to be that next guy that's behind the plate? I mean, I watch everything Michi does. He's taught to me since the second I got here. I mean, usually two catchers go at it to get starting jobs. That's not us. We, we work hard to win a starting job, but we talk to each other. We try to get each other better every day. And that's the key thing that got me to where I am right now. What's going to kind of make the difference late in these games for you guys to just kind of get over the hump there? I think it's just the one key quality I bet. Someone on second base to move them over, something like that. The pitching, the pitching staff's doing a great job all year long to keep us in the games. Our hitters are doing a great job. We just got to get that one key hit, which I think we're going to do. We really are going to pull things together. I'm just coming out home opener, your first uh, game as a Hoosier here. How does that feel? I mean, it's going to feel pretty good playing out in front of all the fans, and my family's coming, so it's going to be a good time. Uh, your versatility around the field has really served as a big aspect to this team. Uh, whenever Lamonis puts you in a different position, what do you think about that? You just take it and go with yeah, it? Yeah, I just take and go with it. I've played a lot of positions throughout my life, so I mean, it's nothing else new. What's the position you feel most comfortable with? Uh, I mean, honestly, I don't really know. Third, I like third a lot, so. Okay. Um, over the weekend, you had seven hits. What was kind of your approach at the plate? Just trying to stay on it, hit the ball hard. 
stay back, not come forward and lunge out in front. What, happened. what was your thoughts whenever uh, you're slotted into the three hole and the D goes down to the four with Sowers out? What are you kind of taking pride in being in the three hole? I mean, it's definitely an honor being in the three hole, but I mean, you can't do anything different. You just got to say what you were doing and just go with it. You know? Being home, is that maybe what this team needs right now? Just, you know, getting some comfortable surroundings? Yeah, definitely. I think it's going to be great getting out here in front of all the great fans that we have, and it'll be great to get out and play at home. Is there a routine part of that too, just able to, being able to respect Yeah, I think it's different because like we have turf and I think it'll be a lot easier because that's what we're used to.